Stem cells have become a hot topic in today's debates about the best way to approach dealing with Parkinson's disease. This presentation is largely derived from Roger Barker's presentation on dopamine cell replacement therapy for Parkinson's. The original presentation took over one hour. The point of this presentation is to give you a five minute overview. Obviously, we leave out many details. If you're interested in knowing more, then please click on the link below. It will take you to the full presentation from February 2023. It is dense material, so please take your time with it. Turning on closed captioning may definitely help with the new vocabulary. Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder that affects millions of people around the world. It's caused by a loss of neurons in a part of the brain called the substantia nigra, and that produces dopamine, a chemical that helps to control movement and coordination. Without enough dopamine, people with Parkinson's disease can experience tremors, stiffness, and difficulty with movement. But what if we could replace the damaged neurons with new healthy ones? That's where stem cells come in. Stem cells are a special type of cell that have the ability to turn into many different types of cells in the body. That means that they can be used to generate new neurons that can replace the ones that have been lost in Parkinson's disease. To do this, researchers first take a small sample of cells from the patient's own body, such as the skin cells. They then reprogram these cells into a type of stem cell called induced pluripotent stem cells. IPSCs are special because they can turn into any type of cell in the body, including neurons. Once these pluripotent stem cells have been generated, researchers can then use them to create new neurons in the lab. They do this by providing the cells with the right nutrients and growth factors that encourage them to develop into neurons. Once the new neurons have been generated, they can be transplanted into a patient's brain, where they can integrate it into the existing neural network and begin to function like normal neurons. This can help to restore lost function and improve the quality of life for individuals with Parkinson's. Of course, there are still many challenges associated with using stem cells to treat Parkinson's. Researchers need to ensure that the new neurons are safe and effective and that they integrate into the existing neural network in a way that's functional. But the potential benefits of this approach are enormous and it offers hope to millions of people around the world who are living with Parkinson's disease. A key element of Parkinson's research these days takes place both in the lab and in a clinical setting, working together. Roger Barker tells us that dopamine cell replacement therapies begin with the idea of how to replace the A9 dopamine cells. That's right, not just any cell, but the A9 dopamine cell. Although the first wave of stem cell therapy research began with embryonic stem cells. It's now moved into the use of pluripotent stem cells. These are cells that could be cultured from a person's own body. There's no ethical concern and there's no rejection. I encourage you to check out Roger Barker's original presentation. Let yourself go slowly and come back to it in pieces. It's a wealth of knowledge and it's very, very current. Thank you for watching.